kind of broke it down from the start. You know, and honestly, we've been pretty spot on with just the evaluation process, seeing where we're at as a program, taking a step back and just kind of evaluating what needs to be adjusted and changed. And then we kind of implemented that from every aspect of meeting with the players and giving them regular feedback, uh, creating the culture and training sessions, setting expectations way higher than they were used to, and just really teaching them what it was like, our expectations in terms of what it looked like to work hard. It's been a really great experience playing for Coach Hale. Like, whatever he says to you, like, sometimes, sometimes it's obvious, like, when he's joking around, but, you know, like, when he's serious and when to take it, like, not so serious. He's a great coach. He's very different than any other coach I've ever had. He likes to joke around, but at the same time, he gets down to business and is very serious at practice. He's not afraid to hurt our feelings um, on the field, and um, he asks us, asks us a lot of questions and like makes us think a lot um, about what we're doing on the field. To exceed expectations just means to do more of what you're asked. So if Coach Hill says you need to get in shape, you need to do the most you can to get in shape. Just doing over and above what you can to like get the result you want, like sitting in the front row in class, showing your teacher that you're there, and coming out maybe early before practice. Going above and beyond, um, telling us, like our coach just has things that he wants us to do, and, and fitness, working as hard as you can, and harder than you thought you could. Are we doing the best that we can, and are we being lazy? Like. If he sees that we're being lazy, it's constantly like, are you doing the most that you can to get better and to make your teams better? See, the expectations just has to do, we don't want them walking in every day and saying, what do I have to do as a bare minimum in order that I don't get in trouble or yelled at? We want them taking ownership of the program to where they're saying, you know, what's, what's the absolute most best possible effort I can put into this? You know, there's gonna be days when the lights are on and you feel like playing, and there may be days where you just, it's, it's a little more difficult, and, but we've got to discipline ourselves to where every training session, we get max effort Friday night, the lights are on, there's 1,500 people here. You know, anyone gets up for that against your rival. The game against Sunday, the day you have to come back, your legs are a little heavy. Just, you know, how do we, how do we find a way to win that game, get the result? We're just gonna be like a hardworking team, blue collar, like out there to work hard and win. We realize that every practice is gonna help us this season, and so we just take it and we, we love it. We, we love working hard exactly what it says like we're all about soccer you know we're not going to talk about things we're going to actually do them when it's time to train it's time to train you know when we tell them that listen there's a there's a difference in having fun and screwing around screwing around is not going to be tolerated um, but you know at the end of the day we do want them to enjoy their experience here and we work hard to make sure that we are the hardest working team in the country but at the same time they do enjoy their experience our practices have been really intense but it, he's also incorporated a lot of fun into um, what we're doing so I think we're going to be really ready because uh, we're doing a lot of soccer. We are doing fitness but um, we're working a lot on things that we need to get better at before um, our games do start. Beat for we just means you know beat for the person next to you, our teammates, to be there for them that it's not just about us it's about the team and the person beside you who you're running next to. We don't want them to view this as my program or Ben or Mario's program but we want it to view it as their program. Obviously we have the experience and the knowledge and the plan of what all this looks like. But at the end of the day, we want them to take ownership in this and really feel like this is their program because we feel like they will invest more in it when they know it's theirs. They're only two seniors and, you know, we take it really seriously. We know that we have to work harder since there are, so there's only two of us. Ali and I need to provide kind of strict leadership because our team is a little young. And so just making sure like all the girls like want to be here and want to do it for the team. At the end of the day, this is an unbelievable opportunity. Being a college athlete, there's, there's really not, not much better than it. You know, but at the end of the day, we want them to understand that when it is time to train, when it's time to compete, you know, that, that's going to take priority. Our goal is not that they laugh and have fun, although we do want them to have that. The goal is to win games. The goal is to win championships. So we want them to find the balance. And they're pretty mature. I think they find the balance on a regular basis. And if we get out of that, obviously it's our job as coaches to you know, redirect them and reevaluate where we're at as a program.